another treasure. Hello. Hello there. Thanks for joining oh, us. Yeah. yeah. Again. Again. Um, so we got a really interesting thing today. And uh, just to let you know, we'll be announcing the winner of the painting. <gasps> Who won? Yay. Yeah, we, um, <coughs> we had a contest to win a painting last week we did in case you didn't know yeah if and you're gonna win today i didn't see the last episode um but guess what we like animals we do <laughs> you didn't know that already oh uh, yeah we have a we, we do like animals and we've told you that um so today it's about like you know the usual facts about animals you know you hear all the time but we have some facts that you probably or might maybe you do but maybe you don't know these facts because they're not really that that yes yeah. i knew some of them but not all of them yeah so um, so I guess we can start with the first one. Um, you really don't want to get in a bear's bad mood because, uh, their jaw is strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Ouch. Wow. Yeah, so. You don't want that to be your head. Stay away from bears. Just saying that. All right. Sea otters. I've seen pictures of this. They it's hold so hands while they're sleeping so they don't <laughs> drift apart. So they're like, hey, it's, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Adorable. All right. Flamingos. I didn't know this one, though. Um, flamingos are naturally white. You know, they're usually pink. Um, but their diet of brine, shrimp, and algae turns them to pink. How about that? So they, over time, turn to pink. They're not pink So if first. you fed a flamingo, like, white bread, it would just stay white. Well, it'd probably die, too. Yeah, it would die, <laughs> but it would stay white. <laughs> um, cats cannot taste sugar, hmm. interestingly enough. They do not have sweet taste buds. Which I find hard to believe yeah, because that's what one of our say. cats <laughs> seems to like eating sweet things. Actually, the cat that was on here twice, Silky, the black one. Like, help me! So, so I don't think she's gonna be. But she does use this. this. She likes to <gasps> scratch. Silky! <on> this. <gasps> Look at that. I think she still smells the cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> she loves butter and she loves chocolate yeah. cake or anything she chocolate. loves. Because we, even on Easter, we had some chocolate candies on the table and she like licked them. Until they were, like, half gone. Yeah, like, like really? ate the chocolates? And we're like, oh, silky. <laughs> so, I... Maybe she's strange and she actually does have sweet taste buds. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it's just those two things. Chocolate and, and butter. Mm -hmm. If you leave butter out, goodbye She'll butter. leave butter, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, actually, wild dolphins call each other by name, which I can believe because they're pretty intuitive. Like, yeah, they're pretty pretty cool animals. Yeah, they're pretty smart. Like dolphins. I like that. Um, polar bears have black skin. Look at that. Interestingly enough. Yeah. And actually, their fur is, uh, isn't it yellow, I believe? It's, uh, I think it's transparent. Yeah, it's transparent. So but it's, it looks white. Because they're always in front of snow, it looks white. But if you put them in front of something else, it's actually yellowish. Looking. Yeah, it's actually yeah. yellow. Um, all right. Reindeer eyeballs are usually brown, um, but they turn blue in the winter to help, to help them see lights in a lower level. Interesting. So, so look at that. The fingerprints of a koala are so indistinguishable from humans <laughs> that they have on occasion been confused at a crime scene. Okay, here's my question. <laughs> at what point in time would you have a koala yeah. at a crime Maybe scene? Maybe it was a, a jungle in Australia like, or something. I mean, yeah, you'd have... Well, I don't know where they live, to be honest. I have no idea. I do think you'd have to be, like, Australia. out in the wild and, <laughs> I mean, like, does a little, like snack stand get robbed or something in the middle <laughs> yeah. of nowhere and a koala just happened to be walking by and get a snack and yeah that is weird i don't know how but it, or i guess it have to, to yeah i don't know but that's interesting yeah so uh this is cool the head of a shrimp is located in its head look at weird. that that is really weird never knew that very weird um a snail can sleep for three years and can live for 10 years without eating yeah so if you're you have a pet snail and you don't feed him over the weekend where you're gone, it's probably going to be okay. Yeah. Because it can live for 10 years <laughs> without eating. All right. Um, <clears throat> it is possible to hypnotize a frog by placing it on its back and gently stroking its stomach. Um, look at that. Isn't that cool? How about that? Now, it says it's that? possible. I don't know if it happens every time because they're pretty squirmy. But, you know, you can try. Yeah. <clears throat> I've never tried it. I wouldn't know. Okay, um, giraffes do not have vocal cords, but can make very... Or they do have vocal cords. Oh, sorry. They do have vocal cords, but can make very little noise with them and communicate primarily through body language. But you did notice that whenever you go to the zoo, they're very quiet. Yeah, you know yeah. what? If so you asked me what sound a giraffe makes, I probably couldn't tell you. Yeah, because they're very quiet. Hmm. Um, okay, the killer whales 
um, are able to control the flow of blood in their hearts and brains. Wow. Mm. I, that'd How be do cool you if I could do that. control your blood flow? Uh, which keeps them from suffering from lack of oxygen when they were under water. Look at that. Interesting. Yeah, cool. Um, alligators can't move backwards. Look at that. <laughs> that'd be, that's actually kind of funny. I don't think I have seen them walk backwards. Now that I think of it. Well, they would really not want to get in certain situations if you can't yeah. back out from it. You right. Know? I guess that's why they're so aggressive, because if they're facing something that's attacking them, they can't run away, really. They have to, like, <laughs> do a U-turn or something. Yeah. Uh, okay, a goldfish has a memory span of about three seconds. Just look so at that. So <laughs> when you think your goldfish is coming up and remembering who you are, they're not. No. You're completely new to them. Yeah, like, they just turn around like, where am I? I had a joke for Finding Nemo, and but that's a clownfish. I just realized that right now. Yep, that's so not that's a goldfish. Not work. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> Cows do have, they do have best friends and become stressed when separated. That makes sense. Yeah. Aw, cows. Cows. They seem, seem intuitive, too. Um, tiger's legs are so powerful that they, re- they can remain standing even when dead. That would be creepy. That would be creepy. Although I don't see how that happens, though. Because don't, even if they are powerful, you still have to, like, control yourself. Like, if I just let myself go, I'd just be, like, jelly. Yeah, I mean, maybe if they died standing, but then you'd think they'd just fall over. Yeah. Or maybe they're, Mm. yeah, I don't know, but that is possible. They're, like, just so powerful. Wow. Hmm. I don't know. Um, Aging male giraffes go black instead of gray. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, So, this is funny. In 1937, Belgium hired 37 cats as mail carriers. Uh, surprisingly, what were they thinking? What? it did not work. <laughs> if you're like, I'm not doing all this work, please. Yeah, that, I wonder whose idea that was. <laughs> okay, um, and last one. Ever think your cat is ignoring you on purpose? Yeah, all <laughs> yeah. the time. Probably. A Japanese study actually found that cats are capable of recognizing their owners' voices. They just actively choose to ignore what the owner is saying. And I believe that so because... it's not that they can't hear you, but they <laughs> don't know it's you. Yeah. So they just choose, like, oh, I'm not going to take the time to listen to you, please. Yeah. And I know, it's like, you'll talk to them, and they'll just, like, walk away. They won't even acknowledge you. Whether than, like, mm-hmm. dogs, they're like, hi! You know. <laughs> right. Um, I guess we have time for, like, two more, so I have two more here. Um, okay. An ostrich... I ostrich eye is bigger than its brain, which that is funny because hmm. it's I a guess tiny they, brain. I guess they're not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say they are some of the funniest things <laughs> I've ever are. seen. Uh, it's um. like like a mix of different animals, um, and then you can read this one right here. The uh, oh yeah, foxes are solitary. <laughs> it's it's written in all I don't know. So I I've no got. I don't know why they did it, but it's. All in capitals. Um, when raising their young, they live in small families called a leash of foxes or a skulk of foxes in underground burrows. Otherwise, they hunt and sleep alone. Which makes sense because they're very mysterious. Mm-hmm. They really are. They're like, because what does the fox say? None of us know. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So, I um, hope you enjoyed these little facts. Hope you learned something new. And uh, now, we're going to say the winner <gasps> of this this little painting dun, here. Dun, dun, dun. The winner of this painting Drum roll. is <laughs> Tiffany Smith! Yay! Woo! Confetti. Congratulations! You've won this. Thank you for your kind words and, and everybody your else support that, and all yeah. that stuff. Um, and everybody else that wrote in, um, we really appreciate it too. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. Yeah, so, there's only one painting. Right. So. Uh, I would have given you all one, but only had one. And then it's not really a contest because <laughs> you're all just winners, and that's not how contests work. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, your your painting, Tiffany, will be uh, with you shortly. And uh, now it is time for the Taylor Chatterbox. All right. Yeah. I got it open. I'm really curious about those koalas. When when <laughs> was there a crime scene with a koala? You, you know, know what? Like, How about at what point would that have happened? What I'll do is I will cut this and I will go put in like a little shot of a story if I can find one about a koala in a qu- crime scene. And yeah, answer do that. Question, because I want to know. <laughs> All right. Da, da, da. All right. 
Lucia has to quote a scene from Freaky Friday. Oh, oh there's so many one. good lines. So that's about like this mom and this daughter, and the daughter's really like bratty to her mom, and they don't have a good relationship. And then uh, they, for like a day or two, I think, they have to they switch bodies. So the mom is in the daughter's body. So mm-hmm. she has to go to school, and the daughter has to go to her. She, her mom's a therapist, so she's go be a therapist. Everybody, there's a lot of yeah. good stuff that happens. So do you have one? No. Okay. <laughs> Mine is, would you rather be a doctor or a garbage man? Easy garbage man. I could not be a doctor. A lot of pressure <laughs> and a lot of stress. And actually, garbage men I hear make, um, I mean, like, they work at, yeah, four in the morning, but then they're off the rest of the day. Well, and they yeah. pretty good that's money. true. But they're, so. they probably are, it's probably like working in a fish place, though. Like, how would you ever get the smell out? I mean, you're by garbage constantly. Well, you'd have to shower constantly. And yeah. You'd have to have your separate area. But so yeah, good job to the doctors out there who can do that. But that's not me. Okay, I've got mine. Um, it's pretty funny, funny scene. Um, it's right when they first wake up and they're in the, each other's bodies, and the mom is actually like engaged to this guy, and he he comes to the front door and he's like, "I thought I was gonna pick you up for work," and they're both like standing up there, and the daughter, uh, or the mom in the daughter's body is like, "You gotta talk to him, tell him something," and she's like, "Uh." So, um, he's, like, staring at her, and then she went, which is nothing the mom would ever say, the daughter in the mom's body goes, could you, like, chill for a sec? And then she runs away. <laughs> right upstairs, like, sure, I'll, uh, chill. <laughs> then there's another part where, um, the daughter in the mom's body goes to the mom's job, and she's a therapist, and there's all these people coming in, and the daughter, or the mom's in the da- daughter's body says, just say, don't say anything, just say, how do you feel about that? So there's one guy that's like, and so she wrote a book, and uh, he's like, so I, I read your book, and it just, it makes me feel really depressed. And she's like, and how do you feel about that? Depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very funny movie. It is. Um, you should watch it. Um, so... Again, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, you can subscribe at the end of this if you haven't done that. Give us a like and a comment and uh, subscribe and do share us and with your friends and family and do all that. Yay. Uh, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. If you'd like you to subscribe much. down right here, you can there. subscribe. If you'd like to watch a previous episode, you can click up here. Up here. If you want to watch a random episode, you can click down, down here. We'll see you next time. Bye!